Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, FUBAR here, and today we're going to get right into the nitty and gritty. We are here to talk about a big problem that in, has been occurring in a potential new meta that is slowly starting to form that I've been noticing over the last few months. Nothing wrong about this, I'm actually kind of happy about it in that, and I'm also, but I am a little bit upset about the problem, but it will be fixed, I feel, in accordance. So, the major problem is with the surprise attack feature. And what about it? Well, the surprise attack feature was meant to give a second chance for losing alliances to still gain some rewards and have a fighting chance and still enjoy the L4 event without being locked into their safe zone. However, some alliances, and I've gotten a lot of reports, and I mean, I mean a lot, almost every single Warpath Discord I've heard about it, at one point or another and it's gotten so bad to the point now where i'm making a video on it there's some specific alliances out there that as soon as they enter their l4 they automatically trigger the surprise attack feature they don't even try going for the main objectives they don't try to win the l4 they just simply trigger it and then they go and they go and jump into other alliances builds just to turn out and i'm not talking these are small players i'm talking about these are whales who are fully kitted out to be in a turtle and they don't just do it and sometimes one at a time i'm talking like like they'll jump in groups and this is a big problem because now the surprise attack feature is being exploited now i hope they find a way to fix that issue that is a major one because as everyone knows both in the re recent months has been really focusing on strengthening base defense and it's been working it's been great but on the downside it is now becoming more and more difficult to remove these bases especially if you're in a smaller battleground so with that said we need to discuss what i'm noticing as a new meta and i'm going to call it the turtle method or the turtle meta now the reason why i'm calling it the turtle meta is because it, it is what it is i've been noticing a lot of bigger players just switching over to base defense instead of going base to base or field fighting probably because they're either really busy in irl or they're not that great at leading ags or they just don't have great parts but they do have the tech investment and the officer investment to run an effective base defense. So I've been noticing that a lot. And there's nothing wrong with that. I And I, can, I partially hold myself accountable towards this. Because I am one of the only content creators who makes base defense setup guides. And each time I've done this, the videos have done very well. So even I myself am a base defense field support player. And, I, and, you know, I, I hold accountability towards that. A lot of people have noticed that it's a effective way to play, but it's not for everyone. But I want, the reason why I'm partially happy about this is because some people have found out a way to work their way out of the meta triangle. Now, when I say meta triangle, I actually mean this is how it originally started. So it first started off with the light tank way, way, way back. And then it's when Modern News came out, it went MBT. Then it went from MBT to helicopter. And now it went back to light. And now the MBT has just gotten another buff. That's great. You know, that's great for the field fighters. Now you're starting to see with this turtle method is that the game's coming back to a full circle. For us OG players like me, 44 Mag, even I would even count Death Wish into this group and H's game like back in the time of hunter barbecue and triple g gaming everything was focused on base to base it was whoever was the better base to base player and it was all skill based so that means that if this turtle meta actually becomes a thing that that will be coming back and the game will have become a full circle and i'm happy about that because that means the game is starting to balance itself out. So yeah, it, when I say balance itself out, yes, Warpath does have it, its glaring issues, but they're slowly coming together. We've seen tons of quality of life updates and everything. As you guys know, I'm eventually, I'm right now in the process of switching over 
to a base to base setup with base defense in mind and air support so i can continue being a support player but with more base to base focus and thank you everyone who responded to that video and made thoughtful contributions i really appreciate it it helped me a lot and also provided a lot of clarity so thank you what i'm trying to talk about with the turtle method and why it's so bad with the surprise attack now no one in my l4 this time did it but they did do a surprise attack trigger which would be lpg but they did not do the block a build with the surprise attack feature they just used it to get to the other side of the map without getting without having to drive a very long time which kudos to them they used it the right way now the problem with that is if you could imagine another alliance a very big alliance jumping from their safe zone all the way over to your build and they're set up for base defense and you don't have many actives on and say you're in goal three and they got five 9.0 units maxed out all ready to go up to 9.1 and half of your players rock one to two maybe three 9.0 units that's going to be a very very difficult time for your alliance and keep in mind that if multiple of those kind of said players drop in at once that's going to be an even harder time it's almost going to become impossible so i want you guys to keep that in the back of your heads so with everything said there i'm excited that this new trend or meta is coming in i do hope people use it responsibly and they don't abuse it and i will tell you guys right now how lilith is going to respond to this because now that it's coming to full circle as you guys know we have very limited base destruction officers before eye of providence we had only essentially eruptor and not many people liked to use them i remember back in the og days it used to be antonina and war machine being the best pairing for base to base because of his reload stat and the fact that he did more damage but now i have providence i have providence instantly melts bases and that is great but now we only have really essentially one fact effective officer pairing for this which would be lady liberty and i have providence or antonina and i have providence and with a lot of people building up lady liberty in this meta coming out i feel there's going to be another base destruction officer but the big question is is this officer going to be an exclusive lounge officer or a free-to-play officer and i really really hope for balance this is going to be a free-to-play officer if it this if everything i'm suggesting comes to pass because right now this is all tin hat theory and that would be a big issue if it does not this is going to be it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did like comment support and subscribe also guys check out my tiktok link will be down in the description below we also have two discords foobars lounge and warpath lounge i hope to see you guys in there i hope to have a one-on-one -on -one chat with you guys this is foobar i got your six Peace.